Absolutely, let's talk about the pommel types in a little bit more detail. First off, there are a number of different parts to the hilt construction of a sword. There is the solid piece of metal from the blade called the tang, and the entire hilt assembly wraps around the tang. The crossguard is slid into place and sometimes so tightly fitted that it can't even be removed. Next, the grip, usually made out of wood, sometimes with leather or wire wrap, and then usually we have the pommel holding everything together. Now, this sword uses a threaded pommel assembly. The inside of the pommel is threaded and it screws on. That's actually the first time I've ever taken this apart, so that's a treat for you and me. Now, another way to do it is to use a pommel nut. The pommel goes over the tang and then you use a nut to secure the pommel in place. However, neither of these options are the most common way that it was done in the Middle Ages. The most common way to fasten the hilt assembly was with a peened pommel. Essentially, the tang goes all the way through and then is hammered down and filed on top of a peen block or the pommel itself. This is the most common type of medieval pommel, and you don't even really see the other two until much later in history. 